Welcome to the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. Our match today is Jason Shaw from Scotland versus Tony Drago from Malta. Playing race to nine, alternate break. The nine balls racked on the spot. Three fouls by the same player is loss of game. And three balls, I think, must get in the kitchen behind the head string on the break. Both these players are uh, seasoned players. I know uh, uh, quite a bit about both players' games, I guess. Tony Drago's 55. Jason, Jason Shaw is 32. So we have a big age difference, and that's always a factor in any sport or game like this. Shaw to break from the right side. He's going to hit him with right bottom. Go to send the cue ball to the side rail. He's put quite a bit of spin on it. It's a good break, though. Not a bad break. He's come up with a decent shot. I can't tell if the, the four and the six are dead. If they are, he may try to land on that somehow. He's probably going to shoot the three ball in the side pocket for sure. Um, this overhead now there gives me a better view. He could go up and down the table, straight up and down the table and try to get on the ball. Go past the six, come back and bounce off the rail again. Or just try to hit it with speed. Or he's going to try to draw around and play the combination on the six, off the side rail like that. Good shot. Only thing is, is he scratched. Wow. That was pretty unlucky, I must admit, that was. But it happens in pool. Tony with a little left bottom, or he's just going to follow it. He's going to put a little left and just follow the ball to the rail and get straight on the, on the five on the side. He shoots awful fast, faster than me. Got a little out of line, but he'll kill it right there. Now he either come straight down and go two rails with left bottom. Two rails with left bottom. You got to be quick to commentate him, too. And he'll just draw back a little bit here. Just a little draw like that. Very good. He does those real good. Left top, just roll the ball, two rails. Shoots awful quick, this guy. Always has, even in snooker. Tony Drago, one nothing. Left side, left bottom. This might be his weakest part of his game, for sure, is the break. And it's mine now, too. So I can't say much either. My break's not much to write home about either. Shaw is pretty straight on this ball. He might go rail first just to get the cue ball to spin down the side rail for the two. He's going to shoot the two between the eight and the nine in the corner. I think he'll go rail first. Or he can maybe he can draw it or spin out of it somehow. Yeah, he spun out of it. That was good. As long as you could do that, that was the right shot. <clears throat> he'll put a little left bottom and just kill the ball right there. I don't think he'll go to the side rail. He'll just cinch the ball. It's like a cinch shot. Like that. There you go. Uh, he'll, he, he'll draw back to the middle a little bit. A little bit of bottom like that. Now he'll put left bottom and draw back to the middle again. He's overhit that a little, though. His game looks a little jumpy right now. He'll just cut it in and miss the eight ball. Go to the side rail. Oh, he hit the eight. A little fortunate there to run into it and still got a shot. He couldn't miss that ball, to tell you the truth. He overhit the pink. He'll just roll this two rails, a little bit of left top. Oh, he, drew, he flew around the table. Wow. He felt better about hitting that harder than soft. But he landed a little bit funny. But he's a great shot maker. He's not afraid of any shot. He'll just draw this with left. 
come straight off the rail like that. Very good shot. That wasn't as easy to do as it, he made it look. This guy's very talented. He'll just draw back a little from a nine in the same pocket. Not scared of any shot, this guy. He can get careless because he shoots so good that he gets careless. <laughs> one to one, shot to break. Right side, right bottom, draw the cue ball to the side rail. Doesn't want to foul the break. And that's exactly what he's done. No, it got him back. I didn't for a minute they weren't going to get back. I can't tell exactly what the conditions of the table are, but it looks to be fairly dry the way those balls broke. Uh, seems to be conducive to good play, so we'll see. He's going to play safe here. He'll just bank the ball back down the table or, or thin it somehow and come back down the table or put him right behind the five like that. That was the right shot. Good shot. He's going to kick two rails or one rail and hit it. One rail and hit it. Wow. I like the way he hit that ball. The way he hit that ball when he kicked it, he hit it so good that he deserved to get a break like he got there. Jason will kick this with a lot of bottom and try to kill the ball right there and knock the one down table. These are hard shots. Wow, he hit that good. He kind of he gave a shot, but he still hit that <laughs> shot good. A little unlucky. He'll fire this in and draw two rails and probably shoot the two in the same. Let's see, he shot that one too quick. He's going to shoot the two in the same corner if he get, would have made the ball and come around. Shaw will either stop right there or he'll follow this with left top. Left top, just like that. Good shot. Table has good speed. I can see that. He'll just draw back just a little bit. Unless the four goes past the six, he'll try to get straight in on the three. Like that. Now he can just stop the three. Just kill it right there. Now he can just, he'll either draw back a little or you don't want to draw back too far. Unless he draws back to the rail like that. There. I thought he was going the other way. Now he'll just draw straight back. A lot. Good shot. That was the right way to play it. That's the way I used to play him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he'll just follow this two rails with right top, come back to the middle of the table. Like that. You notice he didn't get perfect on that shot, and he doesn't care if he, he wants to, he doesn't want to get perfect. As long as he's got a good look at it. That's all we want. The best players in the world is just want a decent look. Two to one. Uh, I want to see the score. Yeah, two to one Shaw. Drago just broke. He has a decent shot. You either cut this in and go around the seven. He ran into it. He's still okay, though. All he's got to do is make this with some left, or draw it back around. He can draw this around, too, like that. That's the right way to shoot some of these shots, because it, you can hit them with a little more authority. I don't know, he's going to follow this somehow and just flip the six. I never know what's going to happen on that shot. I don't think he did either, but it came out right. He'll follow this two rails with left top, like that. You gotta be quick to commentate this guy. Now he's got left bottom and come back to the middle or go to the side rail over there. Go to the side rail. Good shot, perfect. He'll just roll this in or draw over for the nine in the same pocket, like that. That was the right shot, draw over for the nine in the same pocket. Just draw it with low right bottom. Guy shoots fast, two to two. Shaw to break, right side, right bottom, throw the cue ball to the rail, don't foul the break, and he has it. He's broken perfect. Doesn't look like this match is going to last too long. <laughs> Here, he'll just put left top, and he'll go back and forth. He'll come back to the middle of the table, or he'll draw it somehow. Or he could shoot it slow and play to three down by the... Uh, in the corner, 
Yeah, he played it just like I said in the beginning. He'd go back and forth and stay in the middle of the table. He still left himself kind of tricky, though. I don't know if he's going to spin uh, away from the seven or... I knew he was tricky. Yeah. I would, he should have played the three in the corner. Played for the three in the corner. I thought there. He's going to play a safe. He's going to draw back behind the eight. He didn't quite get him. He's got to look at it. All he's got to do is make it. Get some kind of shape. Good shot. That was not an easy shot right there. All right, left top. Nice and smooth. Good shot. Another good shot. It was hard to beat that eight ball. Now he's going to play left bottom and draw back. Good shot. Guy's cue ball is for as fast as he plays, left bottom, draw back two rails. For as fast as he plays, his cue ball is ideal. It's hard to believe. <laughs> Straight top or a little bit of right. Just roll it in. That was quick. He did that. Three, two. Left side, left bottom, draw the ball to the rail. Good break, looks like. If he gets a shot. Ah, he got snookered. Unlucky, Tony. Unlucky there. There. And he'll just kick this two rails or somehow and or he'll roll out. I just can see him not wanting to roll out. Like, I don't know why. I guess he's going to have to because there's no way to kick it and get the ball to do what he wants, kicking it. Shaw can bank this in. He can go for it. Or he can thin it, go two rails. It's tricky to go to the two rails. Tricky. It really is trying to get behind the three and the four down there somehow. He can get there. And I tell you what, that's no easy shot. You've got to hit it super thin. This is a tough shot to take on. It really is. He's going to thin it. Try to come back underneath the five. No, he banked it. Like I said in the beginning, I thought he had a good bank at it. And he got safe off of it, too. And he had a shot. That was the right shot. He's going to kick two rails with a little left top. Hit the ball like that. Oh, he left him an easy shot. That's not good. He'll just play left bottom. He'll draw over. He'll probably shoot the two in the side pocket where the one is, maybe. No, he's going to shoot it in the corner. I thought if his cue ball came further, he would shoot it in the side. He'll just shoot it in the corner now and stun over or draw back. These guys shoot so fast, and they're not giving me the right angle. He'll follow this a little. Nope, drew it. The overhead camera doesn't tell me nothing. Right bottom and draw over. The overhead camera just don't tell you anything. A commentator. Now he'll draw back a little. Just a little. Stun off the rail. Draw back just a little. See, I can't tell nothing there. Now he'll draw back again. Or no, stun off the rail. He's going to use the rail. Good shot. That's the right way to shoot that shot instead of drawing it. He'll draw two rails or follow two. He drew it two rails. That's the right shot too. There you go. See how he didn't land perfect? He doesn't care. A little bit of right top. Just roll it in. Go two rails with the cue ball like that. Don't ever try to get perfect on those nine balls. Just get okay. All right, the score is 3-3. Three, three. Uh, right bottom. Breaking with right bottom. Send the cue ball to the side rail. Doesn't want to foul the break. This table's breaking like a bar table. It really is. Wish I could get a table to break that easy. I can't tell if he's got a shot. Nope. He's, I don't know if he's jumping or... I think he's jumping somehow. With his break cue. Wow, good shot. Made it, and he got positioned somewhat, some kind of. He's got a shot at it. He'll follow this with straight top and, and use the nine ball. Or he'll draw it. 
and it'll come back drawing somehow off the nine. I just followed it, and he knocked the nine in. Wow, look at that. That's a winner. Jason Shaw, 4-3. Trey go to break, left side, left bottom. He hit him head on, and it worked. It was a good break, but will he get a shot? He got a shot. I don't think he has a shot. I don't think the ball will go, and the nine goes nowhere. All he's going to have is a safety, maybe. It don't look like a good safety either. That was a terrible break. If that ball would have just broke free, he would have had an easy out. But this is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoyed us. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. Tony Drago playing safe. He's going to thin the ball somehow, bank it. What a brilliant shot. That was a nice shot. Crossed it and... Uh, Actually, he's lucky it hit the point. <laughs> I think it would have sold out. But he needs a little break there. He's one game behind. I think Shaw's going to jump this one, too. Just, uh, uh, I played him a couple of times in the last few years, and he's made some crazy jump shots on me. I'll tell you that. He's gotten pretty good at them with these trick cues, though. Well, I still say he could jump even with his own cue, probably, but not as good as he could with those trick uh, barrels and stuff. Efren doesn't like them. Yep, here he goes, jumping. He's just going to jump it and try to make it right there. It might stay there. It might move. Oh, he missed that one. Usually you get lucky with those cues, too. And there it is, a bit of luck. He didn't leave a shot pocket the ball. Tony's got a safety. Maybe he'll roll him right behind the six ball. That's the right shot. Real slow. Unless the two goes, he wants to shoot. I would just roll him right behind the six ball. No, he, he wants to put him down table. That's a better shot. <laughs> That's a much better shot. Tell you what, he hit that so good it was a joke. Where he put the cue ball off that shot. It's crazy. That was crazy how good he hit that. Guy's got some talent, I'll tell you that. He's a good shooter, too, that Drago. <laughs> uh, he made a ball on me one time. I was playing him in a tournament. I didn't think he would make it. And the position was difficult, too. He didn't only make the ball. He got position on the next ball. I, I, was, I like, uh, kind of sunk down in my chair. <laughs> uh he had me seven to one. I ran six racks on him, broke and got snookered. He beat me eight seven. It was an amazing match. It was in the finals of a tournament. It was uh, quite a match. Shaw's got a tough shot here. He's just going to try to move a ball like that. And that wasn't a bad play at all. But I think it's still uh, makeable in the combination. I think he'll shoot the two in the corner and he was going to follow to the side rail. He's going to shoot the two. I, I thought he should shoot the two down there by the eight and draw over or that or follow to the rail and come over. This is the better shot. And I mentioned before about using the rails. Some shots you want to use the rails on and especially a shot like that right there. Well, you want to land on the combination, right? Now, look how good he landed on that. He probably couldn't have done it, landed that as that good from anywhere else unless he used that rail. Combination on the seven. Ooh, he overhit that, rats. That's a simple mistake there. He's going to have to play safe. He's going to have to thin the three ball and come down behind the eight. He's going to cut it in. He can cut it in. Well, I don't know what he was perturbed about. I thought he... If I knew the ball would go, I'd never got mad, probably. 
He'll shoot that in the same corner with right bottom. Draw over for the five. Good shot. I like to see how good he hit that in the pocket. Left bottom, draw off just a little. He'll roll this with left, real slow. Bounce off. He wants to get a little bit of angle so he can use the rail or draw back. He'll draw back for the side. I knew he was going to do that. He'll just roll it in, straight ball, go to the bottom row. Guy shoots fast. 4-4, four, four. this is a good match. Shaw to break, right bottom, drawing the cue ball to the side rail. Doesn't want to foul the break. They're not even getting close to fouling this break at all. And they're making balls like they're on the bar table. Look at these balls, they're falling in everywhere like crazy. That was a, easy, a nice break there. He's got a tricky shot. He may draw this around the eight, go side rail, or just follow it and go two rails. Follow it, go two rails like that. There you go, good shot. He could have drawn that ball and went two rails off those rails and got shaped too. But he shot it the soft way. He'll just draw back a little, no follow on me. That overhead is useless to me. Left center here, just below center, and stun the ball off the rail. See, on, at this view, I can tell what the guy's going to do every time. When they go to the overhead, I really, well, I know this one because I saw it before, left bottom. Just below center with left and stun off the rail. Like that. He'll just follow this with straight top. Probably shoot the nine... I can't tell if he's drawing or yeah, follow. I hate it when they go to that. I can't ever tell nothing. Now he'll just draw this to the rail or stun it and go two rails like that. That's the way you start. When you're younger, you draw that. You keep drawing it. And then as you get older and older, you can tell he's in his 30s now. Left bottom, Trey go to break. Good break. Looks good. He's got a shot. This is no problem for him. A shot like this is like a gimme. Just cut it in, roll down. He's got to worry about position on a three. He might get snookered somehow. Wow. You see, he shoots a little too fast on some shots. I still say he shot that ball wrong. He was supposed to roll it instead of spin it. But that could be the difference right here with Shaw leading 5-4. Uh, that could be the the little mini break that Shaw needed if he can get on this this uh, three ball. He could go rail first and go around the table, come underneath the seven and slide down between the six, three. Or he can thin it somehow and come back and try to get on it straight down the table. <laughs> He's just scratching there. Or he can draw it two rails. Like that. The only problem is there, he hit it too hard. He still got a shot at it. But he's left-handed. That's the only problem on this shot. Is he can't hardly reach it. If he was right-handed, he could shoot this shot easily. Maybe cut it in. But he may have to play safe. I don't know, but he's a great shooter. He may can stretch and reach this shot too somehow. I think he's, he's going to play safe somehow. It came out pretty good. Drago's going to kick this with a lot of spin. Speed's important. Oh, he got unlucky. God. He hit it a little bit, just a little bit too hard. A little bit easier to have been underneath that five ball. He's going to draw this or roll it in. I never tell on the, that camera. That might be, no, that's perfect. Yeah, that could be it right there, the little chance he needed to roll and bounce off the rail. Wow, he landed funny on that one, I'll tell you that. He was supposed to be a little more aggressive there. He'll jack up and draw back a little. Ooh, it didn't move at all. That was weird. He'll roll and come back and hit the nine or miss it. 
good shot. Threw a little bit of spin on it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have done that really. He's either going to go all. He's going to fly around the table with it or shoot it slow. He could cut it in real hard and go one, two, three, four rails and come back out. Or he can shoot it real slow, like that. One, two, three, four, five. We got five rails. The pointy table. I'll tell you that. You put a little right top on this and roll it in. These are the kind you got to be careful on. You can miss those. Anybody can. Six four. Shawl to break. Right bottom. Right side. Drawing the cue ball to the right side. Ooh, he hit him head on and scratched. Oh, how lucky is he there? Wow. Huh. Well, that's sometimes you got to be a little lucky too. That's something I ain't got much of. That's for sure. Looks like he's rolling right behind the nine ball. It looks like the right shot. I don't think he's got no way to play this shot unless he banks it down the corner. If he doesn't do what I think he's going to do here, I won't believe it. He's looking down there. <laughs> Just roll it, the nine, the cue ball behind the nine. Oh, behind these balls. I still liked rolling him behind the nine. Because he's such an easy kick out of that. Easy two-row kick with left bottom. He should have never rolled in there. I, I, I disagree with that shot. Now he's just gonna try to tie that ball up. He's lucky he's always got something, some way to tie a ball up or something. There's a lot of luck in pull. That's one thing I don't like about it. Looks like he could shoot it in the corner Go to the side rail just before the side and go bottom rail and break it up. That's, he, he didn't put enough spin on it. He'll just cross this back down but near the five ball and send the cue ball back to the seven. Like that. God, his pockets are deep, I'll tell you that. Wow, that was an illusion. It's still a good leave, though, I'll tell you that. I don't know if he can cut this ball in or not. No, maybe. Can't tell on that angle. He's going to play some kind of safe or cut it in. Wow, how lucky is Paul. He was playing to cut that ball in. He wasn't playing to kick it. I don't believe for a minute he was playing to kick it. God, what a lucky shot that was. <laughs> that shows how lucky Poole is at times. He don't deserve that. <laughs> but anyway, he's going to shoot the five in the corner, go to the side rail, come back to the middle of the table for the seven. He landed perfect on the five, too. It wasn't that hard a shot. You know, just go two rails, stay in the middle of the table for the Eight ball. See how he didn't get close to that ball? He didn't have to. He doesn't want to. Now I just put some left on it. Come back to where it is almost. Right there. Very good. And he'll just roll this in with left top or stun it and float to the rail like that. He stunned it and float to the rail. Shaw leading, 7 4. Drago to break, left side, left bottom. Draw the cue ball to the rail. It's a good looking break. Don't. That's not a bad break. He needs a he needs a, this rack very badly. He'll just stun this a little or roll it with left top and back to the middle. Oh, he overhit it. He's playing for the side. Well, that's not bad. He'll just roll this in, go two rails for the five. Good shot. Now he'll just draw down the middle of the table with a little right. Like that. Overhead. We'll just follow this. Shoot the seven in the side. And you're going to play it in the corner. Good shot. Now he'll draw back for the side. He fools me every time. <laughs> oh, Left, middle, and stun off. He ain't going to draw this, I know. 
right middle stun of the rail, draw it on the rail. He's drawing on the side rail. He's still a kid, see? All right, that was important rack for Drago. Shoulder break, leading 7-5. Breaking from the right side, right bottom, drawing the cue ball to the side rail. Good break. Only thing is, is, uh, oops. Yeah, I think he's got a shot, too. Wow, this table breaks sweet. He'll just roll this in with left top, go two rails back to the middle of the table. This is a very simple out. It couldn't land any better than this. Right top, back and forth. He hit that ball a little squeaky. I'll tell you that, though. He, he hit it so squeaky, he missed shape a little. I don't know if he's got to draw out of it and come back between those balls. I think he does. He's got to hit it hard and draw his... No, he just stayed right there. He ain't taking no chances. <clears throat> Gonna roll this in with left. Just roll it in real slow. He'll st stun back with left or just roll the ball with left. Right, went with right. Two rails. That's the way I would play that shot. Stop right there. They don't. The overhead camera really is no use to me. This is the view I need right here every time. He'll put right top or left top and come back right top, just like that. That's the way he's supposed to play it. Two rails and stop. Put bottom and stop. Shaw's leading eight five. Tony to break, left side, left bottom, drawing the cue ball to the side rail. He fouled the break. So it's Shaw's shot. He's got an easy safety, I think, or he can, he may cut the ball in and run out. Looks like he could just cut it right in the corner and the, cue, the four ball will kill the cue ball. This is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. All you weekend players out there, I hope you've been taking notes on these guys. He's gonna roll it in, he's got the two in his corner. No, he banked it. That's a good shot, unless the, the ball came and snookered him, I think, it did. I couldn't tell. They are, to give me the overhead on it, I can't tell nothing what the guy's going to do. This is the view I needed in the beginning. He's going to jump this and try to pocket it, draw back maybe. Wow. He got a little bit of a bad roll again, I think. I think he's barely snookered where he can see the ball, but I don't know if he can make it. He might can make it. Nope, he snookered just enough that he can't. He can see the ball, but he can't make it. The real important game right here, he could lose a match here if something was to go wrong. You never know. Oh, he can see it. He can see enough of it to make it. Must be, because he's level stroking it. Left bottom, or stun it to the bottom rail. Now he's jumping over it with his own playing cue. He's gonna stun to the rail like, nope, draw it. Good shot. That was a nice shot. You can see what a great shot maker he is. Shots like that. He'll just stop right there on the five or follow it and bounce off the rail. He'll follow it. He's going to draw it a little bit. Just draw off the rail. It's light draw like that. Good shot. Now he'll draw back just a little with a rail. Couldn't tell, they get overhead camera, I can't tell nothing. He'll just stun over and play the nine on the side with the right middle. He'll just draw this or roll it, stunning. There it is, Jason Shaw, nine five over Tony Drago. Drago made a couple of mistakes that cost him that match. He might've won it, but that was a quick match, I'll tell you that. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to the Billiard Network for more great pool action from around the world. I'm Earl Strickland saying goodbye.